All right, Shalom Rastafari. I'm gonna go through this very briefly. This um, this uh, Torah portion, and you can download this right here for free from LOJ Society. No, actually, the Line of Judah Society dot info. Right, so you can download the PDF of this and kind of follow along with it. But actually, <clears throat> the longer, the fuller version is gonna be found at. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna upload this to. Uh, Ethiopian World Net. So we're, we're broadcasting on Rastafari Sabbatical. But those who actually watch that particular um, um, channel and probably haven't seen anything posted in a while, we have a couple of a couple of mini blocks or mini segments that we have been recording, and we're going to try to put them up. The last one kind of went um, almost like 16 minutes. So unfortunately, I don't think we can really edit it. You know, so that it has the full content of it. That too. It's on spiritual preparedness in light of, you know, all the signs of um, 2012 and and rah rah rare rare. So anyway, the RSS, right? The RSS is number seven, right? It's called in the Hebrew um, Vayetze, right? Vayetze, right? Vayetze, and Vayetze. Um, let's just put this right here. Va say right Vamarinya is um wet to toe and it basically means um the idea is and he left right and he left like he got out of here and he left right and speaking of our um of our patriarch Yaiko is speaking of Jacob now I'm not going to go through the whole thing right here because we did a, about an hour or so long a fuller version but for those who might just be seeing this, if you're interested, then subscribe and go to uh, Rastafari Sabbatical. You should see it in the link of the vid. It's in the description. It should be down there. And just click on there and, and look for the RSS number seven. Um, the, name, <clears throat> the name that we're going to call it, actually, uh, Mindanao. Well, anyway, it's going to be the RS number seven. Right now, the RS number seven for a couple of maybe a day or so. You know, I've been meditating on it. I know the basic, you know, the basic idea of it. But I know that there's a revelation in His Word that there is the constant aspect of it, and then there is the, um, you know, the, there's the constant word and there's the instant word. Right. That that means where the though it's speaking about things that seem to have taken place here or there, and people say, oh, that's just history, but in Christ, in Yeshua, right? This word is a living word, right? It's a living word. All of these, the Old Testament testifies of the Moshiach. It testifies of Yeshua. It testifies of Jesus Christos, of our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All right? Now, with that being said, there's a couple of things I noticed about this Torah portion that were amazing. I mean, I mean, truly an amazing grace in the revelation of this particular Torah portion as it comes into context, right, as the so-called proverbial rubber meets the road with where we're at right now. And then I noticed that we have um, this Sabbath, right, then it's like the 21st, or actually probably, uh, I mean, it's, 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 the, it's the first, right, and we have about 20 or so days. Right to the so-called um, December 21st, right? And I've been thinking about, okay, what's up, Abba? You know, like, what's up with this? I mean, I know that this is these signs and everything, but what word, you understand, um, um, should we communicate? And what word should we stand in in this very day and time? And we touched on that in the, in the previous vids, uh, spiritual preparedness. So if you don't get to see it here and you want to see what or what it is, you understand, then check it out at Rastafari Sabbatical. All right? Where we go into a little more detail. If you don't see it up there immediately, just check back. Hopefully, you know, um, in 12 to 24 hours, it will be up there. All right? So anyway, let's go over some of these main things. The chapter that is in, and, and this is, we're going to try to limit this to, to the, the, the 15 minutes or so, right? We're in chapter 28. Right, this Torah portion um, is chapter 28. Now, this Torah portion, chapter 28, right, and it begins at verse 10, 
and it says, and Jacob went out from Beersheba and went to Haran. So that, that either went out or left, right? What to tell? Jacob went out or left. Now, <clears throat> this is this speaks on Bethel, on Bethel or Bethel, right? Bethel or Bethel. Now it's interesting because we have um, Bethel, right? Bethel or Betel, which equals Beth, right? E equals equals uh, excuse me, Beth, right? Beth plus L. Now L is just a contraction of uh, of Hyle, right? Or we can say Eli. If we say Eli, and we say Hyle, right? Hyle, not Hyla in this sense to be Hyle. Hile, the possessive mind. Eli in the Hebrew, or Ele, mind. They tell, right? So this speaks about Bethel, which means the house of the true and living God, right? Now, where is the house of the true and living God, my brothers and sisters? Some will say, oh, it's in Jerusalem. Oh, it's down the block from me. Oh, it's, like, it's over there. Some might say, oh, it's in Ethiopia. Oh, it's, it's wherever. My brothers and sisters, if you truly are born again Christian or Christian, you should know that the house of 